In this video series, I'll be giving some advice on how to make the best song you can. The power is back. I'm Taylor Brown, a local musician and producer. I also studied music in college for four years. And myself, along with Anthony Casuccio, a professional, a real professional recording and mastering engineer, is Shane Dupree, a professional DJ and music producer, as well as a professional hip hop dancer. And the three of us, we're gonna make this guy give you some tips on how to produce the best song that you can. No matter what you do, how you wanna write your music, be yourself. It's so important to not come across phony, to not try to copy someone else. Show your own personality in your music and be interesting. A lot of times that can be difficult to do. It takes a lot of time beyond just music, just in life, to figure out how to be yourself. So we constantly are these living, breathing, evolving things. Our music should reflect that. Our music should have that emotional depth and it also should have that kind of nuance to it. When you listen to two songs that were made at two different times, you can tell the journey that the person that made this song went through. And it, I mean, and when you when you first start off, you're gonna sound like somebody else because you right. have to do, you have to, you have to put the time in as an artist to develop your skills if you're playing an instrument, you got to develop your dexterity, you got to build up your chops and you have to figure out like what's your own thing, unless you're just going to copy stuff and you know, then, then that's a whole nother thing. But and I guess it all depends on what your goals are right? as an artist. That, that has a lot to do with it, you know, right. but yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, put the time in to kind of develop something right. and get something going you know? yeah exactly and it's not and that's like the one of the hardest things to do is just be yourself it is yeah. it took me a lot of years to actually be myself like right. i have i had to really just kind of get comfortable being in my own skin yes yeah, also be aware of the people that I surround myself with mm -hmm. and sometimes you got to switch that up because it's not yes. healthy for you yes. you know and you know yeah so it's not it's it's, it's being yourself is you know it's a tall order man yeah depending <laughs> on who you are some people right. can just be themselves right. and like they don't have a problem being themselves That's it's right. just like they could just walk around and like do 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 this is right. easy you know what I mean but like I don't really? know, that's not my experience. And like right. a lot of people I know, that's not their experience right. either. <laughs> that's what I've learned it too. Like sometimes you have to learn that, like how to be more outspoken and just like, you know, just do you sometimes, you know, because mm -hmm. you got, you can't worry so much about, oh, what's somebody else going to think about me? You just got to just do you. Yes, do you. It's like, yeah, that's some advice I would really give a young artist is that, you know, I personally have just spent way too much time worrying about like what people around me thought about, thought about me and it kind of affected like what I would essentially do as an artist or just as a person sometimes. And then, you know. It is possible that when you're writing your music that you can kind of do too much. A lot of times people don't like things that come off pretentious. People also don't like things that come off contrived. So it is very important to remember not to do too much. You know, simplicity is good. It, it, people can gravitate towards it. You right. want a melody that everybody can sing along to or or, or connect with. And, and simplicity is the way to do that. Less right. is more. And if you can not overburden the instrumentalist or especially a singer with too many lyrics or complicated rhythms, you know, um, let them have a chance to make it their own. So don't overcomplicate the lyrics. I know right. we want to get our ideas across, but you have to be smart about it and think about it. Sometimes you don't need all the words. You know, like instead of saying because, you could just say because it hurts, or you know, right. you, could, you can abbreviate things and still get the same thing across. You know, so just be mindful if you're the right. lyricist and the vocal of, of making it um, conducive and setting up your vocalist for success. 
Some of the things that can take people out of listening to the song sometimes is things that are just way too complicated and over your head. So too many big words that people don't know what it means, too many complicated storylines and subplots in the lyrics of the song. Sometimes that could take people out. Also of it. being contrived is a problem. Like are you really trying to just craft this universe just to do it? Or is there actually something that you're trying to say with it? It's also super important to be creative. How I've mentioned a lot of the kids and these things that are on, you know, social media that get popular now, though some of us might not understand it, it connects with them because it's something that's different, it's something that grabs their attention. Whether it be, you know, because it's something that's, you know, bright and colorful or outlandish, whether it be just something that's just so bizarre and off-putting that it's like a train wreck, you can't take your eyes off of it, but there's something to it that grabs your attention. With any art, you, you have to push the boundaries or else it just stays the same. If everyone just like played a guitar, that's which true, is fine, too. and like some of the best videos I've ever seen that I've ever watched were people playing guitars. Right. Like, check out like Django Reinhardt. He's incredible. Yes. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, but what I mean, like with living in this, in this time with technology, how it is and how people communicate and interact with each other. Like we're on zoom right now. Like, right. Um, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It, I feel like you have to push the boundaries. Right. And, you know, sometimes people push the boundaries and it, it's ridiculous, but right. maybe maybe it's ahead of its time. You know what I mean? Like That's people weren't even too, ready yeah. for that yet. You know right. what I'm saying? They're like, and then in 20 years, they look back and like, yo, remember when this dude was doing this on TikTok like 20 right. years ago? Like, and now people are just catching up to it, you know? So it's like. But when you're getting crazy, it's important that you're trying to find your own style. Because if anything, unique is always good. Now what about some mistakes that's common to make? Something that we know will make a song not come out right. Well, for one thing, there's just a simple uh, point of something being poorly thought out or badly performed. And it's something we were talking about with Anthony. Because of how easy that it is to make music now, the amount of people that are doing it and the amount of people that can release something has gone from like this to like this. So when you do that, there's a lot of stuff that's subpar that comes out and the reason why that happens is because there's a lot of people that are just simply green and they haven't really fully gone through the process. Even if you listen to really some old school hip hop where they just did a lot of loops and they had you know three long verses because they had three rappers in the group or whatever, they at least had a bridge or they had some sort of chorus or something. Right. And they at least went somewhere with the song. Now, I'm not saying that's not happening in rap music commercially. I think it is, right? but I think when you have the average person who wants to be a beat maker and a rapper or in hip hop, they're just throwing together something and then rapping over it. That's true. I would agree. And with they're that not, too. they're not, yeah. so you could have the best technology in the world, but if you don't understand at the end of the day, it comes down to the song, Right. no matter what genre it is, it comes down to the song and the message and the melody. So, you know. Technology still can't buy, can't can't create that. You can't buy it and it won't create it. Don't abandon the traditional ways of making music. Still learn about them and still use them. While you need to push the envelope, while you need to stay up to date and current, don't just abandon the, the greats and the classics. Still listen to that stuff, still learn about it, still learn your music theory, because all of that stuff will only make you better. Speaking of which, Something else that is a mistake that could easily be made, just being unoriginal. For listening to a whole bunch of copycats, my thing is, why would somebody care to listen to you if you're making something that sounds like 50 other people? Why would people decide to follow you over any of the other people who are making that same sound? Mm -hmm. like, what do you think about that kind of like an idea of like, people that like, like they're not doing their own thing. They're trying to sound like what's the, the popular trends right now. Yeah, I think it's corny, man. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think. I like, think in my it, opinion, I feel like the problem with that is that people stop caring because mm -hmm. what purpose do they have to specifically listen to you if you sound like six other records that are out right now? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. 
So your your goal is just to be yourself and be original, right. no matter what you're doing, or else, you know, and then work on your craft and eventually get it to the point where you know a lot of people feel like it's good if, right. if that's your goal you know what i mean another like, thing that's a definite mistake and sometimes this can happen by accident because not everything that you make is going to be amazing definitely you should be striving for everything that you're making make it memorable it's so easy right now to just throw a beat together right what i see is that too many people are doing it mm. and they're not paying attention to the details they're it's not adding musical elements that are going to make the song stand out. Right. I have students, they make a really good 16 bars. Right. And then they loop it for three minutes. Right. And my question to them is, where's the song going? Right. A lot of times in my reviews of songs, I'll talk about it just being flat or uninteresting or something's missing. And a lot of times, that's the reason why it is unmemorable. Just, it's just missing its own unique personality. So definitely think about that when you're writing your music. Think about how can you make it different? How can you add your own unique experiences and personality to something? So now we're going to give you some recommended listening. So things that is good music to listen to that kind of talks about the things that we're doing. There's some good examples to listen to. Um, there's a band out of a band out of uh, LA called Best Coast. And they they just released an album that's really good. It's been four or five years since they had their, I think their sophomore album. Um, but they've had three or four albums, but they've really come a long way every time. And they're just, I just think they're really great. I, I would recommend checking out Best Coast. For my own recommended listening, so stuff that I've been checking out these days for hip hop, I would check out Buddy. He does some really cool things with his song structure, with the production, like some of the songs like Trouble on Central or Shine. And then I would also recommend Robert Glasper for, you know, just in general, stuff to listen to for music. He's a jazz piano player and also does some great neo soul work. So I would recommend checking him out. And then of course, I would recommend just simply checking out all the different YouTubers. You know, a lot of times if you check out YouTubers, maybe not everybody's quality is consistent, but at least you can hear what some of the latest trends that are going on. So I would definitely recommend that. As far as for some old school listening to do, definitely listen to Prince. Definitely listen to Stevie Wonder. Musicians who were from back in the day who are immensely talented. Those guys, they wrote, produced, performed all their own music. But they both have some great songs. I mean, you got to taking the time to check out Prince and Stevie Wonder, definitely do that. So that's my recommended listen. So I hope to see you guys come back for part two of this. So here, we gave you the advice, we gave you the tips for actually writing your song, composing it. Next, once you've written your song, you've come up with your melodies, your bass line, your chord progression, we're gonna talk about actually performing that song in the next part. So we're gonna talk about how do you sing that song now that you've written your wonderful masterpiece and your great lyrics. What are some tips for actually laying down the vocals for that? Some tips for performing those vocals when you want to make it sound the best. So definitely come back next week for episode two where we cover that. And until then, to Shane, to Anthony, to all the Professor T fans from my hometown, and to all of you watching at home, Love what you do. I had a great time sharing this information with you and I hope that you learned something too. And I wish peace and love to all of you. And I will see you on the next one. Class is dismissed.